Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna take you on a tour of this absolutely beautiful fifth wheel. This is the 2024 Impression 318 RL View. So this is gonna be a rear living fifth wheel with a ton of massive windows so you can enjoy, you know, a campground like we're at today. But it's also gonna have a rear living setup along with a desk for two and some hidden bunks. So this is definitely one that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe button for future RV content. The manufacturers went ahead and got this campground for me, uh, hooked me up with about 14 units to do. So there's gonna be a lot of great videos coming up, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. Again, it's the 2024 impression. 318 RL view and I'll tell you I have done these tours for quite a while and I have not seen a fifth wheel that is like this so definitely drop a comment give me your feedback let me know what you think you know what they can do you know maybe a little bit differently what you love what you don't but man I have a feeling a lot of people are going to love this right when you walk in it is absolutely beautiful the floor plan is really nice and well thought out I like the fact that they have this really elongated island that also has seating for four so you can really sit down you know maybe play some cards have some breakfast really kind of enjoy you know the the campground kind of atmosphere even on that rainy day but notice these absolutely massive windows so today we are at uh, eb's campground right next to the manufacturer probably about 30 minutes from where these things are built and i think it really helps show off what life could be like what summer or lake life could be down at a campground you know, you're sitting at this desk, which by the way, there's another chair right there. So this actually has room for two full chairs, but look at that view, whether, you know, you're the grandparents who want to bring the grandkids, need a place for them to do some coloring, or if you're working on the road, this is a great place to sit down and chill, possibly even read a book. We'll get back to that here in a second. Um, over here, you're going to notice a slide that's going to have your entertainment, a big old pantry, and behind that door is some hidden bunks. So whether or not you're going to use it for the extra sleeper or if you just want some extra storage, you know, there is a lot going on. In the back, you have your theater seating, a pull-out sofa, TV. And then right here, you got your microwave and oven along with your bathroom and the bedroom. But that's kind of the, uh, the short version. Now let's get back to this desk. First thing that I noticed when I walked in, again, is these massive windows. I already kind of briefly went over that. But you get those windows because... This is gonna be a little bit taller than average slide. So I am six feet tall, a big, beautiful RV salesman. You're probably looking at about six, three or so for slide height. So unless you're on the you know, rather tall side, you don't have to worry about bonking your head when you're coming in. Again, this has seating for two. So chair there, chair there. You can move those baskets. There's also a little shelf right here uh, that you can lower down for some extra storage. So maybe you're not using it as the desk and you wanna pack rat a couple extra things in there. You're also going to get a flip up counter, maybe where you can sneak, you know, some office supplies, maybe throw your laptop or other valuables in there. Just general storage, I suppose. And then both sides you'll see are going to have sets of three for some pull out drawers, all of which are going to be looking, you know, just a lack of that. You got the old power tower, baby, right here. So if you need to hook up, you got two outlets, a USB and a universal C, but when you're not, you can also tuck that away and you know get it out of the way. So really cool and nice to have. Each one of the windows, you can see it's got the little railings right there. So instead of going with like some night shades or zebra shades or something like that, they went with kind of a more, you know, kind of classic little curtain look. I like that because one, I think it looks really nice. I think it's something that my wife would like a little bit more. But two, it 100% blocks out the sun, keeps those nosy eyes out, works just like those Dracula shades. Emergency exit for this, that, and that window. So in case something crazy happens, there are plenty of uh, you know exit strategies there for you. Back to this island, seating for four, so you can sit down, like I said, play those cards. You also get solid surface countertops. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. You also have your stainless steel undermounted bowl with the high-rise faucet with a little snake doodad. Hitting those dishes from all angles, knocking them out, making life easy. Underneath here, you got some pretty pretty clean cut looking storage, but you got this little little chunker right there. I don't know what you want to call that, but all, you got all of your um, you know your plumbing there tucked tucked away behind that. So if you need access to your plumbing, you know you do have it. Let's take a look at that. Pretty darn neat. You also get a couple little outlets there tucked underneath. But I could definitely see setting up and really enjoying, you know, that rainy day. Or you could put like a little cutting board right there, maybe play some pong action, you know, whatever kind of campground 
games you got. If you are, uh, whether you're younger or you know an older family, it suits a wide variety of people. Plus, you have whatever you want to call that. Pretty darn fancy looking. They're pretty darn snazzy. Pinkies up. They look really nice. You got that little accent block on there. You know, whatever you want to call that. But it feels really nice and spacious in here. It's a little bit, um, for a mid-profile, definitely feels, you know, pretty darn tall. Right here, you got some theater seating. You're also going to come with four cup holders. And then we're not hooked up to power right now. But normally, if you double tap that, accent lighting would come underneath. But I'm just running off the battery right now. Um, so that's why you're not seeing that light up. Two more cup holders. A little push for a USB port uh, that comes off the side, the universal C and the USB. But then also, if you want to get kind of in, in snuggle mode and get cozy, plops up and goes right there. Although this island is large, it's not going to get in the way you know, of your TV. So when you're sitting down relaxing, kick your feet up because these are recliners. So you can watch. But you're watching it right there on your Sansui TV, my favorite TV to say. You also have a fireplace, 30-inch Furion, that puts out enough heat to heat up the entirety of this room. You know, absolutely no problem, even on a pretty darn chilly day. It also looks really nice with a couple different coloring modes. You also get your Furion soundbar that gets absolutely bumping with zone one and two. So that's inside and outside, so you can rock on both sides. You also have your HDMI and USB right there, along with storage, both left and right. Heading out the back, we're going to continue the theme of the view because you get absolutely massive windows and even some pretty cool storage here up above. But man, what a nice place to sit down, chill, read a book. The TV is not on a swivel, so you're going to want to probably lay down or sit right there. At least I don't think so. You could probably put it on a swivel if you'd wanted to, but you're going to have USBs on both sides and outlets on both sides as well, but this is going to be a trifold. So this pulls out and comes to probably, you know, right about there. It makes a full size bed. And another thing that's kind of unique, and I like how, you know, RV sales are kind of slowing down in some ways, but steeding up in others, but they're coming with more kind of, um, you know, extra little secrets. They're getting better and better, you know, so you got the little flip up right there, you know, maybe for some blankets, you know, or something like that. Back to the TV, you have the storage below, you got the storage here up above. You also got this nice textured glass right there, which I think just kind of adds to it. But man, what a sharp looking unit. I mean, look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. You also get two ACs in this unit and they're all gonna be ducted, which is nice. So you'll see right there and right there, it's gonna run all the way down and the two ACs will just help kind of circle it around. If you're hanging out here enjoying movie mode, you can open it up like this and open up the dump valve and kind of release all the cool air into this area or you can keep it closed where it'll evenly distribute it throughout that track. But one of the favorite things about this RV, you're gonna be right here behind this door. You open it up and this is gonna be kind of your, your hidden storage. Those hidden bunks are becoming a little bit more popular, but this one is a little bit more thoughtful, I would say. So when you come into here, you notice you got that bunk that flips down. So perfect again for the grandkids, or I could totally see this being like a little office. I got a couple customers you know, that do like, um, you know, sewing, or I got one guy that does like some model trains, uh, or he just travels around and kind of shows them off at various places. This would be a great kind of little hobby room. You got that little desk back there, you know, just to kind of, just kind of fart around a little bit. You also got probably about a knuckle deep or so of depth right there. And again, windows, emergency exit. There is a little fan that pushes air into here, so you don't have to worry about that. I know in one of my videos, people were concerned, but the air still definitely flows in here uh, pretty darn well. Really nice deep storage right there too. You know, I'm six foot with average size arms. When I go to the tippy tips of my fingers, it goes to right about my armpit. Go ahead and close this back up. Open this right here. And you got yourself a little pantry. So that's gonna be nice. You know, put your dry foods in there, maybe some board games or blankets when you're in kind of stowaway mode. You also have your 12 volt refrigerator. So it's gonna be a little bit bigger. Uh, then your gas and electric, which are quickly becoming, you know, a thing of the past. But basically this will run off of the solar, which has a hundred watt solar on top of this, by the way. But, uh, you know, on top of that, it's just got a lot of room. It's just like the one inside your home. It just happens to be 12 volt, meaning it'll run off the solar, you know, your battery, your truck when it's driving down the road. It's a little bit more versatile, a little bit more conducive to, you know, RV life. You also get a little secret area. Well, not secret. I don't know why I said secret, but you get a little place to put, you know, some wine bottles or possibly uh, some bourbonia. So right over there, 
more countertop space. You got a pretty cool little prism look backsplash, but you're gonna have outlets, USBs, cutting board, and pull out drawers. And these are gonna be a little bit wider than most too, which is great. You know, in my household, these are definitely all becoming drunk drawers with a quickness. But you got the three stovetop burner to whip up all the fixins. And then you got an oven that's gonna be big enough to maybe do, you know, some pizzas or, um, you know, cookies, something like that. You got a microwave with good old uh, potato and beverage mode, maybe do some uh, hot chocolate. And then right up there, you got a little bit more storage. Yeah, pretty darn snazzy. If you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. Maybe drop a comment and say hello. But I think it's a pretty good little camper. You know, I'm a little bit newer to the impressions. I've only been in one other than this. Uh, but I'll tell you, they are leaving a pretty good impression. I like this little nook area. I could see hanging up like a hoodie, dog leashes, you know, things like that. I got three dogs at home, so I think that'd be a great little area. You also have a handrail to help you get up. This is gonna be your fuse box. So if something isn't working, it'll glow up nice and red and you can see what's going on. See a little sticker right there for your shoe? It's because they got floating steps. Fairly wide for the hallway there too as well with an absolutely massive window. Again, hopefully for a really nice view, you know, somewhere like this. But this is gonna be your control panel and you're gonna have all of your awnings, your slide outs, and then your tank heaters, which is nice. So the tank heaters are basically 12 volt pads. So the same thing that your refrigerator runs off but they just attach on backs so that way you can camp earlier in the season or you know later into the season so it's really nice you know kind of a nice way to extend those trips out here's where you can check all your tank fills the control for your both of your acs and then your on-demand hot water heaters so this is going to be a 60k same one they're using you know on those big old destination models but that is nice it's basically going to be instant heat and uh, forever lasting as long as you have you know propane and it's you know mighty quick too which is a big time plus but this bathroom is also pretty darn impressive. As a bigger guy, I definitely appreciate a little bit of a bigger bathroom. You got the old porcelain throne. And let me let me flip this around so I can kind of show you. Let me close that door here too. But so I'm six foot, 300 pounds. So, you know, most of these bathrooms get a little bit tight for me here in the RVs. And this one is definitely uh, suitable, you know, for, for my size for sure. And then, oh, you know what? Sorry, I don't want to give you whiplash here on the camera, but I might as well step inside the shower. But again, six feet tall, and you can see plenty of head height in here, and then even more with the sunroof. So, I mean, even if you're like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, you can still take a shower without, you know, kind of hunch back and over. But you're also going to get the old Tri-Glide Glass Series. But one of my favorite things about this is normally, you know, the campers that are this size, they don't get something like a dual vanity. And this one you do. Now they didn't put the solid surface countertops back here, but you have the hard wrapped uh, plastic. So that's gonna be a little bit of a higher end plastic finish. You notice how it doesn't have the corners that are exposed like some of them. So that's gonna be nice to see, but you're gonna get two sinks, you know, for all your stuff. You got little hand towel soaps, little place maybe where you can put some deodorants or knickknacks. My wife would have crystals up there, you know, in a hurry. And then you're gonna have two of these. Perfect place to show off the old bowling gun, baby. And then plenty of storage. This is actually going to go, you know, all the way down to the floor. All right. Get into the bedroom. It transitions into carpet. So a little bit of a nicer, uh, nicer feeling on your toesies. Let me go ahead and lower the cameras. Get a little crazy on me. So what opens this up to give you a lot of room is this is actually going to be on the Versatil. This is also becoming a little bit more popular from some of the brands, but not everybody is doing it yet. And I really like it. It's on a 14 inch lift and it basically all does is just lift up that back area to give you probably about four feet of walk around room. So when you're not sleeping, you have more of an actual, you know, bedroom feel to it as opposed to this expanding out and you having that thin little area where you got to do the little side scoot. Now this one has outlets and two USBs on the sides. Uh, the rep did tell me, I believe on the future models, they're gonna actually have them on the, on the sides as opposed to here on the wall. Slide room control is gonna be right here. And then the Versatilt control is gonna be right there as well. It's also prepped for the, the King Wi-Fi, So you can get, you know, LTE, uh, you know, 4G LTE extender, all that stuff down at the campground if you are working or just maybe even wanna watch some Netflix. There's gonna be the other AC. So again, you got your dump valve right here. And then you also have a TV backer place where you can put a TV. It's got extra, uh, you know, backing right there to do it along with the appropriate plugins. 
And then you also have your dresser with three dresser drawers here too. So you got a place to put all your, uh, you know, all your boxers and socks and whatnot. Another window. Oh, I forgot to show you uh, on the bed itself. All three of these windows do open up, which is pretty darn cool. So I like having that. Normally it's just the side ones, but actually the back one does too. And then you have a nice size closet with washer and dryer prep as well. So this is with the closet this size, I would imagine it's going to have the Rhino box, uh, pin box. But as you can see, automatic light just kicked on. You also have a railing, you know, to hang up all your items. If you're not putting the washer and dryer in, this is basically going to be just one massive hanging closet area. But I like how it is prepped up for it. So even though, you know, this is traditionally going to be kind of like a a weekend warrior type unit. You're probably not living in it. If you do, you don't want to, you have the ability for more residential features. But all right, guys, let me know what you think. I'm about wrapped up here with the inside portion of this tour. Again, this is the 2024 Impression 318 RL View. And if you made it this far, hit that like and subscribe button for me. But now let's go ahead and head outside. Now all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, including a link directly for the pricing will be down in the description. So make sure to check that out, you know, if you guys are interested in it. But when you come out here, I just think it looks really nice. And I love the fact that they set this up at the campground. So you get a really nice feel. You know, you got a couple chairs, you got a fire, you can kick back, make some s'mores. But just imagine at night, you got those LED lights here underneath glowing nice and bright for you. You also have really nice size awnings. You're going to see you have two of them you know, which just kind of adds to that campground feel. You're also going to get auto leveling on this. And then you have the slam latch doors too. So right here, it's actually going to be metal. So typically they're plastic. This one does get metal, a little bit sturdier when you're slamming that shut. Here are going to be your two marine grade outside speakers, along with a cable and some outlets here. But you have a really nice pass through storage. They got the linoleum. It's clean cut looking. No, you know, exposed wood or anything. You also got that aluminum foil up front. And then it is welded at all angles with a little apple juice opener, battery disconnect, and a solar charge controller uh, for there up top. Not sure what that's to. Maybe the front cap lights. We'll see here in a little bit, I guess, I suppose. Uh, underneath, you see how it's got kind of that rib armor there? That's going to be paneled off into sections. So six foot sections there, which is going to be nice for maintenance purposes. You also have the step above steps. Those are the kind that flip up into the doorway, but they're also sturdier. So if you're a round belly like myself, you know, you're, you're banging down on them pretty aggressively if you would like to, and they're not going to get flimsy on you. You also get a screen door as well, tinted windows, the Aluma structure, which is going to be, you know, aluminum here behind this. Also, the sidewalls are going to be laminated as well. So when you push on them, you know, they're not squishy. You can actually bang on them pretty darn well. So heading out the back, you see you do have a ladder to get on top of your fully walkable roof, which is always a plus. You also got that little black box right there. That's going to be prepped for a Furion observation camera. It's a four and a half inch screen that you suction cup right onto your windshield. So that way you can see, you know, what's going on behind you with some distance markers. You also have your towing package right here, along with your Goodyear tires uh, with a, it's got a one year, no excuse, and then a five year manufacturer warranty on it. But you got 3,000 pound tow rating, two inch receiver, 300 pound hitch rating for like, you know, bicycles or something like that. And then you also got your four way flat there as well. Pretty sharp looking unit. I like how they went, you know, kind of that, that lighter appearance with the blue and then the black. I just think it's nice. They're not getting overly fancy with it or too crazy. Again, you got the Goodyear tires right over here is going to be where you plug in the unit into your power. So that's going to be your 50 amp, um, 50 amp plug in. You also have your sewer connection and then your, uh, your poles for that as well. This is the back end of your sub suburban on-demand water heater. Again, that's going to be a 60 K. Control for your auto level is going to be located right here, and this is going to be your docking station. So you have hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower, city water connection, fresh water connection, uh, your valve for, you know, winterization and whatnot. And then you have your satellite hookups, you know, here too as well. And then along with a black tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Propane behind this door. And then you got some storage here, you know, up front where you can house a couple batteries. You got your spare tire, a couple other little goodies you know, right up under here, but uh, 
Let me check this out. And I think it's about time to move on to the next one, guys. But drop a comment. Let me know what you think. This is going to be the front of the unit with those LED lights. But I hope you guys dig the tour. Again, my name is Hunter, and this is the 2024 Impression 318 RL View. Have a great day. Hope to see you next time. See you. Meow, 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 meow.